You're living in Cambodia yeah. for a little bit yeah. already? For how long? On and off for 28 years. If you had the power to change something in Cambodia, what would you change? How much do you spend roughly? I know it's a very personal question. Maybe you don't want to give that away or? That's okay, so. Hey Chen, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We are in the heart of Phnom Penh at the Central Market. And in this video, I'd like to discuss the life in Phnom Penh. And I am not telling you my experience because I'm here only for a short visit, but I've got two special guests on the show that I'd like to introduce you to. And we're gonna explore the market a little bit, but I'd like to talk more and focus more on the life in Phnom Penh. What it is like, an American guy we're talking to and a local lady. So we've got a good perspective of what the life is like in Cambodia in 2024. But there she is, hello Tina. Hello, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, yes. it's been hello, a while. Everyone. How have you been? You okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. What what are we going to do? I like your mouth sap my high your mop flu uh mop hold my thingy. Okay, let's yeah. go. Let's go. <laughs> What's happening, Patrick? Hey, uh, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. From Campbell Vlog. Yeah, Campbell Vlogs. Yeah, Campbell Vlogs. But you don't have to call me that, you can call me Patrick. I'll call you Patrick. Hey, <laughs> Patrick, you are from America. Yeah. You're living in Cambodia. Yeah. For a little bit. Yeah. Already? For how long? On and off for 28 years. Since I was a kid. Since I was like a since I was like a baby. Yeah. 20? How old are you now? 30. So nice. came here first when I was two years old, and then back and forth. Okay, that's an and interesting now living story yeah. already right there. <laughs> Um, we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Sure, yeah. yeah. And also we're gonna walk around a little bit with Tida. It's gonna be a good one. I'm starving. I, I, I just wanna go get some food. So if we, yeah. as long as we start walking towards yeah, the food, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy. Let's go, let's go. Ask it. So you've been here since you're like a baby. You, you, you're basically Cambodian then. Yeah. You have a Cambodian passport. I don't, but I, I, do, I do identify as Golden Khmer, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. how come you don't have a Cambodian passport then? You know, people always ask me that, man. And I, I just like, I just haven't taken the time, I guess, to go and like do go through the process and get it. My yeah. parents should have been doing the work for me when I was a kid, but I uh, clearly that wasn't one of the, uh, I guess, more important things on mine for them. Uh, they were missionaries here, Baptist okay. missionaries. So, uh, Are they yeah. still around? My dad's in Cambodia right now. Okay. Uh, he still does missionary work here and in Bangladesh. My mom, she's back in the U.S. Yeah. Um, and then most of my siblings, actually all my siblings are in the U.S. right now. So I'm kind of like the only last one that it's kind of hanging out here wow. in Cambodia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you lived in America before? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so I, I finished high school, yeah. uh, did some college there. I okay. uh, have a, a bunch of friends that I actually convinced to move out here with me. And they are? They're, with, they're here, out. yeah. They, no they, way. Yeah, they got businesses here and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I've been to both. I actually just came back from the US for like eight months. Um, oh, wow. But I don't know, man. I just, if you, if you guys have seen my videos, um, Oh man, I need to get Converse actually. These Converse are crap. <laughs> but um, if you have seen my videos, you just know that like I just clearly enjoy living in Cambodia more. Yeah, you know? but um, what is then, it just, uh, we're not gonna give everything away, but what is now the reason why you're living here and not in America? What is the, the biggest difference that makes you choose Cambodia over America? Well, I just had a uh, new baby so, and she's two months. Congratulations. Thank man. you. So I had her here my wife is Kamai. So actually that's probably one of the reasons why I'm still here right now. Um, but I think it's just like a mix with like families here, the lifestyle, the food, the culture. Um, and like you, like you said, like I'm basically Khmer, I just feel in some ways identify as like uh, Cambodian, yeah. 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 We are ordering some different foods and I'm not gonna show you everything on this channel, no. I'd like to guide you at the end of the video to Tida's channel and Combo Vlogs channel. Are you actually living in downtown Phnom Penh, you would say? Yeah. Yeah, right in Totempong area. And is that like a rich area or is it like a normal? No, kind of? I would say it's, for me, it's my favorite spot because uh, it's where like a lot of like the expats live and kind of like where you can got, find a bunch of nice cafes and bars okay. and marts. I wouldn't say it's the uh, higher end spot. That would be like BKK. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's definitely like a nice, safe, clean uh, neighborhood to live in. Yeah. How about the cost of living here? I remember Cambodia to be very affordable. Yeah. Now it, prices have been rising a little bit. Is it expensive to live in the city or? Uh, it depends on your lifestyle. Yeah, you know? of course. Uh, but I would say I did read something where the cost of living was going up, which to me was still surprising because, uh, you know, uh, I'm not a wealthy person, but I live very comfortable and I have two daughters, my yeah. wife, 
we have a couple people that work and help around the house and stuff like that and yeah and so something I could definitely not afford in the US uh, so I, I'm still surprised that people say it's kind of expensive because if you were just like by yourself uh, honestly you could get away living comfortably in Phnom Penh for less than a thousand dollars a less month. Less than a thousand yeah. dollars. And now you've got two kids. How, how many bedrooms do you have? And you uh, have a garden. Yeah, I have a, we have a nice uh, house which we rent. We actually we own a condo, uh, but we don't live there. We we have the the villa, the house that we live in, which we rent. Okay. Um, but yeah, enough rooms for us, the kids, the the nanny. Um, and we have a nice yard and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, and how much do you spend roughly? I, I know it's a very personal question. Maybe you don't want to give that away, or that's okay. So uh, for that house, we got very lucky. We we're spending about a thousand dollars a month on rent okay. at that place. Yeah. And how much money? I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pushing this through. How much money do you spend for the whole month for your family? Um, I think I made a video about this one time where okay. we broke it down. I don't do all the finances. My wife is the one who kind of deals with it. But I would say <laughs> roughly around like. Four, yeah, three and a half, four grand a month. Yeah, okay. that's just yeah for all of us, yeah, the house and everything. Yeah, for me, I, I maybe uh, fifty dollars for beer every month, and I'll be happy. A <laughs> <laughs> fifty dollars of beer in Cambodia is a lot. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the history, Cambodia has struggled not so long ago. It was not going very well. How was it to live and grow up in Cambodia? What sort of uh, uh, she said, of course, like there's always going to be like uh, times where it's difficult, uh, but she feels kind of like blessed and lucky that she has this outlet where she makes videos um, and can make a living off of that. Yeah. Um, so it's not as difficult as maybe some would uh, some would be in, here in Cambodia. Yeah. yeah. So the inflation and the, the cost of living is quite high here. Do you see a lot of poverty around you or you don't really get to see that on a daily basis? Yeah, so she is kind of saying that because of inflation, she's saying that one of the difficult things is that food here can be expensive uh, and then utilities can be expensive and yet the, uh, the salary, you know, the monthly, their monthly salary sometimes isn't enough to pay for it all. You know? So uh, and I would say that probably has something to do with inflation as well, yeah. In my country, when you have money problems, yeah. the government will jump in and they will support you in a way. I can imagine that it is a little bit different over here. Is it common to help each other here more or? It's common here in Cambodia for uh, Khmer to help their fellow Khmer to go out, right? And for her, she makes these videos where she can kind of donate and give back to the people that are less fortunate. Also because of Khmer people that watch her videos, they donate, they give money, they see what she's doing, and then she kind of goes and is able to help people out with that. Yeah. That's very good, yeah. So I think that's uh, the most important thing here, being active in Southeast Asia, even if you're just coming here on holiday, is trying to support the locals over here because, you know, Southeast Asia is, is very wealthy, but it also has quite a bit of poverty here and there. If you would live somewhere else, Tida, where would you like to live? Which country? USA. USA? Oh, <laughs> maybe visit one day. She wants to, but she just needs to save up some money. So maybe she gets some more subscribers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, actually, I, normally you should do this at the end of the video, video, but I don't mind you finishing up right now and go to Tida's channel. Click right there. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Living in Phnom Penh, in the center of Phnom Penh. Yeah. I'm sure there are a few downsides as well. And I, I try to give the whole picture of what it is like. What are the downsides? What are the downsides? It's not a, a very a pedestrian friendly city. Okay. Yeah. That being uh, that uh, it's very hard to walk around. And you probably noticed this, there's like sidewalks aren't a thing here because people just put their stalls and businesses right to Scooters the- Scooters or stuff. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so it's not like where other cities where you can kind of literally just walk from one side to the other. Uh, so that would be maybe one downside with Phnom Penh, um, which is very minor. And it's also because it's a developing country, so it's a developing city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they haven't kind of like taken the time to make it like that yet. However, you go to see them re-up and stuff and it's really easy to walk around. And, That's yeah. right. Uh, how about theft? Because a lot of people, like, and it comes back all the time. That, yeah, there's petty theft over here. Are yeah. you worried a lot? Are you very aware coming here 
to Phnom Penh back again, let's say after eight months in America? Yeah. No, not at all. Uh, never once have I felt threatened. Have I anyone tried to steal anything from me? I feel I feel uh, more threatened in like cities in the U.S. Like I could be walking like a dark street here in Cambodia, Phnom Penh, and I wouldn't feel threatened whatsoever. Uh, but that being said, it's just being mindful too, right? Because there is the petty theft. There is all that. I've known people who first day in Cambodia got their phone snatched, but that's just because they're sticking it out of the tuk tuk and you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just yeah. be mindful of that. that. That's a few things that you have to follow. A few rules. Yeah. Especially in the tuk tuks, whenever you get here and you arrive at the airport, the tuk tuk drivers will warn you as well. Like this is not something that there's a barang saying like, oh yeah, you have to be careful in Cambodia. It's a lot of theft. There's not a lot of theft. There's only theft in the city, in like in downtown or right. on the streets. You have to look out for motorbikes, etc. But overall, it has nothing to do with safety. It has something to do probably with poverty. Yeah, because it's just a, it's uh, it's not like they're coming in like uh, mugging you or anything like that. It's a snatch and grab. Yeah. That's like the worst you're gonna get. It's like a, someone coming by, grab your thing and riding off and like that. Yeah. Tina, you were saying that you would like to live in America yeah. if yeah. Uh, that was possible, or if you have to choose a country where else to live. Why is America so interesting for you? If you had the power to change something in Cambodia, what would you change? Okay, ยาสลาเรียนយើងឲ្យមានកម្រិតការសិក្សាល្អសម្រាប់ថ្មីថ្មីចំនួនក្រោយតាមបន្តទៅញុំមិនថាថ្មែរយើងអន់ទាំងអ
funny enough, they'll actually save money here in Cambodia, at least for me and my wife, yeah. versus in the US. Okay. Um, so yeah. So you reckon life here in Cambodia is more pleasant? Yeah, for me, I love it. Uh, I just, I fit in more here, man. Like uh, when I was growing up, I didn't really fit in the US. I've got one more question. Yeah. Maybe the most important question. How are you doing this with health insurance? Are you covered? How are you covered? Are you like, if you, ha if you need hospital care, do they have that here? Is it good enough? It's uh, dentist, these kind of things. Is healthcare well organized over here? Healthcare is good. Um, it's not the best. Obviously it can be a lot better. Uh, luckily, we are very close to Thailand, which you know as well as has some great uh, health care. Um, my little brother was born in Bamagrad Hospital, which is a really big hospital in okay. Bangkok. Um, but it's decent health care here. It's funny you brought up travel uh, insurance. For travel insurance, I've been using Safety Wing. But Safety Wing is definitely is a, really a good, good one. Yeah. Uh, recommended for long-term travelers or short-term. You can even uh, insure yourself for five days just uh, for a short visit if you cross a border or something like this. It's quite handy. Zero deductible <laughs> and also kids under 10 go for free. And I have two kids under 10, so there you there go. There you go. So links in the description for the safety wing. So do you, you'd say that for good hospital care, you would go to a neighboring country or is it still possible here? Oh, for here, you can still go here, man. My, my friend had open stomach surgery at the Royal Hospital here and he's yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, his, his dad's a doctor back in the US. He flew in, observed the whole uh, thing and said that they did quality uh, Care on here. his son, yeah. Nice. So, okay. But that being said, there are other options. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice one. Thank you. Now, please check out my friends right now. Check out the channel. They made a video of today as well at Central Market. Hopefully, you'll be able to watch one of those. Thank you all for watching till the very end. I'd like to say from Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia. Bye for now, and stay champ. <laughs>